guys welcome back to my channel um today's video is a collaboration with some of the other homeschooling mamas on here and um i just wanted to first off say that i have tried to film this video four different times um every single time i was just taking you a ride on the struggle bus basically um i ended up I even like was editing a bunch of it and putting it all into a video and then I'm like delete 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 every day that I tried to film this failed um, I had a lot of hard days last week when I was trying to make these videos and um, just we are off our routine for school um, my my toddler Aubrey she was a little pain in the butt all week last week. So normally we can do family time on the couch, which is when I read a read aloud. And we do our science devotional and um, stuff like that, like where we do it as a family. And she wasn't having it this week. She was just crying the whole time I was trying to read. Then forgetting all about Wilbur's breakfast. Is it on your bed? You didn't look. Is it in the kitchen? And um, wasn't like her normal self where she's normally very content and she likes to sit there and listen and when she can't sit any longer she just gets up quietly and starts playing with Legos or something but it wasn't like that okay it wasn't like that no it was hard um, and then other than that it was just I don't know I was just having a hard day the days that I tried um, my like I think my blood sugar was just all off and like I was super irritable and just not able to like focus and like um, like all the like voices and stuff were like stressing me out it was just it was really hard every time I tried to make this video so now I'm just gonna be like sitting here going over some tips I have for mul for homeschooling multiple ages. And these are things that I um, implement throughout the year. Um, every day is a little bit different for us, but for the most part, these are things that I do to make homeschooling multiple ages and grades, grade levels, um, a little bit easier. So my first tip is um, to implement learning um, movies or videos like documentaries um, right now what we've been doing a lot of is I play um, the leapfrog movies for my youngest two um, Stella's four and Aubrey's two and I put on like phonics farm or um, or the letter factory or the there's like a number land number land um, I put those on for them like kind of in the morning um, and while they're watching those I can get math done with my two oldest they do teaching textbooks which is all online and so I'll have one of them doing their teaching textbooks math and the other one doing handwriting and then they switch and that's all while the little ones are watching the a leapfrog movie Aubrey you like this movie huh what does a B say good and what's a P say Popcorn. Popcorn. Such a good job, Aubrey. Their babies also like to watch, huh, Stella? Yeah. 
some ladybugs. Yeah, guys, now you're looking at me. Someone could be in yours. But if you let them make a sound. Good job, Stella. And the B says, Papa. <laughs> Good job, guys. Second. Tip number two is actually getting as much as you can done during anyone that naps nap time. Okay, so for me, I only have one napper in her, and she's Aubrey, she's two. While she naps, I try to get language arts done with all three of my kids. Stella's in kindergarten, Briella's in first, and Cade just finished second. Um, so while Aubrey naps, I get all of their language arts done. But tip number three is to not do language arts at the same time with all the kids. So when I'm doing language arts with one kid, the other two are doing something independently, whether it's handwriting, um, coloring, drawing, um, playing with a floor puzzle. Um, I have like the geo boards with the rubber bands and like the spikes and they can make shapes. Um, the balancing scale for the like the little teddy bears that go in. We have that, we have like letter tiles, um, anything like that where they can do quietly on their own. They can, um, so they'll do that while I'm doing one-on-one uh, -on -one with a kid. So language arts and stuff, like reading, spelling, all of that. Yeah. Like, oh. Okay, you ready? All right, we're gonna, you're gonna read these sentences, okay? So we're gonna start here. Tip number one was, what was tip number one? Oh, implementing videos. Tip number two, get as much done during nap time as you possibly can. And tip number three, never having language arts um, or anything that requires one-on-one -on -one with mama and student, never doing those with more than one student at the same time. Um, those are what keep me sane throughout the day is not like having my head pulled in so many different directions. And also it just makes our day go a lot smoother when we have like a kind of a system in place like that. Um, and okay, so tip number four, I think I'm on four. Um, don't try to do school when anybody is hungry and that is including you mama or daddy you do not try to homeschool when you're hungry or the kids are hungry because it makes everybody cranky and it's really hard to focus when you're hungry um, can we eat ice cream what do you think yeah you think yes you can eat ice cream mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I don't think today is a good day for filming. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Shush. No one's having ice cream. Tip number five. Um, having some sort of a checklist so that you know what you've done with each kid because when you're doing different subjects at different times like one person's doing math one person's doing language arts one person's doing their handwriting one person's reading okay so when you're doing it like that it's kind of hard to think back like okay who got okay did everyone do their math did I did everyone do this, that? Okay, so what I made was just this little chart that I um, I laminated it. Okay, so I have Cade, Briella, and Stella in um, course book, math, phonics, spelling. Phonics is their um, phonics cards, spelling, sight words, um, handwriting, science, reading, and art. Okay. So I start every day with a clean slate, except Cade, he mastered his sight words so long ago that I just like crossed it off. 
But um, I start out with no check marks, obviously, and as soon as someone finishes something, um, I check it off so that at the end of the day, I can go back or whatever, um, in the middle of the day, end of the day, um, I can go back and see, okay, did we get everything done? Did you know? And then if something's not checked off, it's like, ooh, we forgot to do Stella's phonics cards or we forgot to have Cade do his math. So yeah, that chart, having that chart is so helpful for me to be able to check things off and to look back at it because my brain is so frazzled most of the time that I'm like, did we do that or what else do we need to do? So yeah. And then um, another tip I have is to have some sort of um, organization set in place to where everybody's stuff is organized separately, um, bundled to together. So I'll show you how I do that. I just got these um, magazine holders on Amazon and this is how I organize by student and keep everything nice and handy. Um, so each child just has one box and their one box holds every subject. And um, so we just we bring these out to the table. That's that. When we're done with school, they put their books back and we bring it back away from the table um, and put it where it goes. So that makes it really helpful. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Um, I wanted to make this video a lot more <laughs> interesting and I wanted to have um, like examples so for every tip that I said I wanted to show a little clip of an example of that it just didn't happen um, I just I need to get this video done now because it's due and um, like I said just just the stuff has not we've been on the struggle bus so yeah um, this video hasn't been easy to make so I figured I'd just plop myself down in front of the camera and get it done. Um, so anyway, if you guys would like to see more content from me, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do anything from homeschool to cleaning. Um, I've been decluttering. I'm on a minimalist journey. So if you are into that kind of thing, um, I've been documenting that journey. Um, I love to do DIY projects as much as I can. Um, it is like my creative outlet, hobby, whatever you want to call it. Um, and pretty soon my mom and I are going to be building a walk-in closet loft area for my daughter. So her bed is going to be up on the loft and then the underneath is going to be this big walk-in closet. So it's going to be a closet for all three of my girls and then one girl sleeping on top and then the two other girls sleeping um, in like on the floor in the bedroom. I mean, not on, they won't be sleeping on the floor. But their beds are going to be on the floor, not the loft. Okay. So anyway, if you, if any of that sounds interesting to you, um, go ahead and subscribe and I would love to have you be a part of my channel. And again, don't forget to check out all the ladies in this playlist. Um, everybody is going to have some amazing tips for homeschooling multiples. And everyone is doing a little bit of a different spin on this video. So some people are just showing how they get school done with like a toddler running around. Or um, I'm not really sure. There's going to be different variations though. So I recommend just watching all of them on the playlist. And um, I'm sure... Everyone is going to be putting out some great content, and um, I wish that I had a better video for today, but this is it. So anyway, thanks guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Bye.